sends this one deep. He's to the 10. No, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, let's go, Rice. Yo, is he going to take this to the crib? Let's go. What a way to score our first ever touchdown, man. To the crib. Wyoming State, we ain't playing no games. Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D-Lord and today we are kicking off a brand new NCAA 14 Dynasty Mode series. Now, I heard a, heard a lot of you guys asking, when are we going to get an NCAA 14 Dynasty Mode? I've been dabbling around with NCAA 06, but that's today, man. So look no further, it is here. Now, a couple of setups, a couple of things that I just do personally to make it a little bit more enjoy enjoyable. No bowl tie-ins, absolutely no automatic bids even if you win the conference. I just think the best teams at the end of the year should play in the best bowl games. Simple. As for the custom conferences, we are going to be in the Big Ten. So we took out Illinois. I'm, I apologize if you are an Illinois fan, but they're not going to be in this dynasty, man. We replaced them or replaced them with our team, which is going to be a team builder team, Wyoming State. We will go through that in just a second, man. But Wyoming State Outlaws, a one-star prestige team trying to battle right away in the Big Ten. As for what we're going to be doing here, just a couple of things we're going to change. So everything's going to be Heisman. We will play on seven-minute quarters. I will drop the player men's speed threshold to 35 to get a little bit more separation between guys who deserve to get that separation with that speed as for now we will keep it on the default sliders but just like our madden franchise series we will be tinkering around with these as we kind of play through it's been a while since i played so we're going to just hop in on default for now and then make it more difficult as we progress through this series all right guys like i said wyoming state outlaws is who we're going to be playing against in this team builder dynasty man a one star prestige so it should be a little bit of a challenge of course in the big 10 so no history we're going to be signing a five-year deal let's go ahead and take a look at the roster all right guys so this is our roster this is what we have to work with so you see a couple of guys on the team that look decent like demarcus hayward but of course Let's start with the quarterback position and just work our way through. So we have Russell Thurman, who is our highest rated quarterback, 67 overall, only a 65 speed. That could be a little worrisome. We have Javon Mays as well, 68 speed, 64 overall. But we do have a quick quarterback in Tlaib Snyder. I'm thinking this may be the route to go. The other quarterbacks are pretty bad, 47 overall, 43 overall. Let's look at the throw power and the throw accuracy to see what we want. Oh, man, 72 throw power. Maybe we don't go with Snyder. Maybe we should rock with the best guy in Russell Thurman. Maybe that's what we go with, man. But um, this is our quarterbacks. Our running backs, we have Dockery. He has 84 speed. Um, and then we have Hagen with 78 speed. It's supposed to be a speed back. Doesn't look like it. Um, Carlos Martindale. 87 speed who is a rusher freshman already 56 overall he's a guy who i think maybe could um could do a couple of things for this roster at fullback we do have two fullbacks on this team um with our playbook we are really not going to be using them too much so let's not really waste our time worrying about them at wide receiver looks a little rough but we do have a 5'8 redshirt senior 84 speed in kyler marcus so we have somebody there, Dorian Overstreet, a 6'3", 190 sophomore. So this looks like the guy of the future, definitely. And maybe we can try to get him involved early as we take our time bringing in other recruits. Sean Baker, another sophomore, 5'11", 185. So we have some guys with decent size, taller than 5'8", and 5'9", who is DeAndre Williams, 165, sophomore, 83 speed i feel like if you're going to be that short you have to be a burner man 5'9 165 with 83 speed that may not cut it um terrell dean but then again we're a one star like we can't beggars can't be choosers right so terrell dean another guy and we have a 43 i mean 47 overall 73 speed wide receiver dewan Lattimore. that's how we're going to pronounce that man <laughs> that one so receivers not that great but really a lot of the guys on this team is not that great we have a tight end who for whatever reason is wearing number 93 
that one's that's different. 62 overall, 84 speed. He looks solid. Um, but the rest of the tight ends, once again, not looking very well. Left tackle, we have a redshirt sophomore who has a chance to grow with us. Shane Branch, 60 overall. Left guard, Landon Harper, 67 overall, redshirt junior. Um, centers, we have Jamarcus Langford, 60 overall. Um, senior so we might need to bring in another center for sure right guard definitely questionable with Keith Siegel 58 overall uh, we do have a 53 backup in Ahmad Sapp but he's also a senior so we need to bring in somebody else Quentin Birdstrand Birdstrand is how we're going to pronounce the right tackle very solid 66 overall but he's a wrestler senior he's gone after this year the only guy we have left is Barry Malloy 51 overall so we need help desperately there hopefully we can land some guys in recruiting we'll see man left in JD Sanders 61 overall 74 speed he is a red shirt sophomore so that is good man we do have a senior on his way out but he's not going to play so we're not worried about him Chester Felder 64 overall 80 speed I like that but he is a senior both guys, the top two guys are seniors, so we definitely need a right end as well because Rico Seymour, maybe he's a 53 coming into next year. Who knows? Defensive tackle, we have two solid ones in Gilbert Bertain and Conrad McQueen. So we are running a 4-2-5 defense here. At least for now, we may have to change that up. Um, so we do need two defensive tackles. Outside linebackers, we have Cody Knox, 76 speed, 63 overall. Uh, we do have our best player on the team, Demar Dem Demarcus, excuse me, Hayward, 79 overall, 80 speed. He's a junior, so we get hopefully two years. He shouldn't be going pro, so we should get at least two years out of him. Jimmy Bass is the next guy in that pecking order. Ike Haley, 83 speeds. He is a rusher senior, so he's out of here as well. And then going to cornerbacks, ooh, kind, kind of shaky. <laughs> Kind of shaky. Keith Myers, 5'8", 165. Not the size you want uh, from your lockdown cornerback, but he's 67 overall, 88 speed. Then we have Jamie Landon, who, uh, London, who has decent size, 6 feet, 180, 63 overall, 87 speed. But the rest of these guys, take a look at the coverage, man. Hopefully, it's, it's decent. If not, man, it's going to be a year that's going to be rough. So we get a solid cover corner in Keith Myers. Jamie London, I guess we'll, we'll rock with that. I guess we have no choice but to rock with it, right? Um, slot corners, pretty bad. 78 speed, Clay Steele. Hopefully this man isn't on the field, like under any circumstance. Um, Jamar Gilmore, 67 overall, 86 speed. He's a junior, so we're going to get this guy back. He'll definitely, hopefully hit that 70 overall mark. And then Ronnie Bailey, 61 overall, 83 speed. Sophomore as a strong safety. We have two kickers. Um, we have a redshirt junior who could probably go. And then we do have a redshirt freshman. 77 overall kicker. Um, not going to complain. Don't even have to worry about it for a while. But we do have to get a punter. Because our punter is going to get up out of here as well. Alright guys. So let's take a look a little bit more into our recruiting. And what we're good at. What we're not good at. Of course playing style. Playing time. Proximity to home. It's all going to differ based on who we are actually recruiting but conference prestige is an A, so that's really what we're going to be leaning our hats on you can play in the big conference even though we may not be the best team um you can do that for whatever reason um i know we took over illinois or took their spot pro potential is a b plus but our academic prestige is a b so you're getting a decent education here at wyoming state that is cool campus lifestyle is a b we're in wyoming but you could turn up here on our campus man athletic facilities uh we can use some help c plus you know it's it's okay it's, it's doable coach prestige we're gonna worry about that that will move up program tradition should move up television exposure we've never been on tv yet so that'll move up stability that should be high like bro we're not leaving we're staying here this is our school championship contender is a d stadium atmosphere is a d so this is what we have to work with when it comes to recruiting. All right, guys. So for our recruiting board, man, we just threw some guys who could be interested on our list. I think every single guy on the recruiting board does have some sort of interest in Wyoming State, man. So you see we have a couple of three. Well, I think the majority, if not almost everybody, but like one or two recruits are three stars. So how many three stars will we actually land? 
I'm not quite sure. I think I remember how to recruit on here. I'm not 100% confident, though, man. So as we get through this season, we'll see if I do remember correctly. I used to be pretty good at recruiting, but we'll find out, man. Like I said, we have a total of 25 guys on our recruiting board, and we'll see how this um, plays out. All right, guys, so time to redshirt some players. We're going to go through this live with me, man. So Taylor Snyder's a guy I think we will redshirt. Um, he has the speed. He needs to work on his throwing ability if he wants to get on the field at some point. Um, really nobody worth redshirting there at fullback. Wide receiver, maybe we could go with DeAndre Williams. I know he's a sophomore, but let's redshirt him. Um, I think we're okay with Terrell Dean filling in that place. Freshman, Sean Sisk, let's redshirt him. We're not going to redshirt seniors. We're not that foul out here. Everybody else, I mean, for the most part, we're trying to fill a lot of these guys with the recruits. So I'm not going to redshirt a lot of guys. We will for sure redshirt Jimmy Bass and hope. No, we're not. Matter of fact, let's play him. If we were going to redshirt him, man, we'll definitely redshirt Steel. I don't think nobody else is out here. Worth the red shirt, man. So those are our red shirts. All right, guys. So this is the schedule that we're going to be rocking with, man. Of course, a, a bye week one. We're going to be at home for the first three games of the season against Marshall, Miami, Ohio, Minnesota. Then go on the road to Boise, Idaho to take on Boise State. We're going to then play against Northwestern, who is one of our rivals. Then we're going to be at home against Ohio State, play against Temple, play against Indiana, have a bye week, go to Nebraska, play against Iowa at home, and then we're going to be on the road the final two games against Purdue and Wisconsin. All right, guys, so after advancing through week one, we are now here in week two. We can see what's going on with the recruiting board. So, so far, our number one recruit that we have on the board is Adam Williams. We don't have anybody fully scouted right now, so this could potentially change. But he's a 71 overall as of right now, but he does have 91 speed with 80 play rec. Hopefully, he could be a pretty solid guy, man. Currently, we are on top, but Washington State is right behind us. So hopefully, we can somehow try to pull this one off. Uh, we have Sean Humphrey, who was a tight end. Washington State, again, is the team that we have to worry about on this one, man. Teddy Lumpkin is a receiver that has 89 speed so far. So hopefully, we can try to land him. BYU is the team that we're competing with. Uh, Ryan Consumption, I believe is how you say it. Us and Memphis. Um, Eastern Michigan, I think, may be a little too far back, but we'll watch out for them a little bit. Justin Burton is going to be hard to get because you see the bonus points for ASU and us. Arizona State probably has the upper hand, man, but we're only 30 points back, so we are going to try a little bit. Kenny Shelton is us at Idaho. I feel like maybe we could put more points towards them once some guys start coming off our board. But for right now, we're just trying to stay in the ball game with 300 points. Larry Fritz is a guy who I feel like maybe we should be able to land. We need three defensive tackles, so I'm not really worried about it. But anybody in the 60s, basically, will start for us. So, 64 overall there. Anthony Robinson, another defensive tackle. He's a guy that we have that we're on top of the board currently, but Utah is right there, and they get a lot of bonus points. So we'll see if we can hold them off for now. Will Williams, defensive end. Hopefully we can get them. Quarterback, there's two guys. We have Walter Jordan, Cedric Williams. Neither of them are fully scouted. 55% is it for both? For both. Um, 80 throw power for Walter Jordan. We have 84 throw power for Cedric Williams, but he does have 75 speed. I don't think Jordan is going to be that fast. So... I don't know which one we're going to go with. Whatever one chooses us ultimately, but they're both getting 200 points. Um, Jeff Simmons is a running back that we have out there with 83 speed, um, but we're on top of his board currently. Um, Lavelle Lewis, we're on top of his board. Center, Jeremy Martin, we need offensive alignment. We're on top of his board right now. Um, David McClintyre, I don't know if I said that right, man. McIntyre, I don't know how you say it, man, but we are on top of his board at defensive end. Uh, another defensive tackle that we're on top of the board, but he does have offers from Oregon and Michigan State. Casey Jefferson, we're on top. Wesley McDonald, we're on top of Rice. is trying to pick up. And then the last guy is Tyree Holy Cross, who is an athlete. We're on top. So that is our recruiting recruiting board for right now. Um, if we make any changes or make any leeway, we'll definitely, um, we'll definitely show it. So our first ever game is actually televised, regional televised game. 
um, against Marshall, who is 1-0. 1230, Kirk. He's picking Marshall, man. C plus everything for them. We are D minus everything. But, you know, obviously that's going to change as we progress through it, man. But they are missing somebody for eight weeks. Hopefully he's the impact player. And here we go. 79 overall to our 57 overall. We have a 55 rated offense, a 60 rated defense man so it's gonna be a tough season especially playing in the big 10 but i'm super excited man hopefully we can knock some rust off um in game one and hopefully the rest of the season could be somewhat decent all right guys so we are here the first ever game for wyoming state man let's see if we can get in a nice little crowd it's not that bad man i thought there'll be less people here but we have some people who actually showed up here man against marshall Let's see if we get the dub in our first game. All right, guys. So here we go, man. First play from scrimmage here in our school's history. Let's see what we can do here. We're on defense first. And we go in zone. Oh! All right. Nice little juke move by Le Oh, here we go. Here comes the no huddle, man. I hate this stuff. I remember this now. It's coming back to me. It's coming back to me. Second and one. Play action, and they get the first down and more as they cross midfield already. They quit. What was that? Did y'all see that throw? Regardless, whatever that last throw was, man, it is third down. We have an opportunity to get these guys off of the field. Let's see if we can. And they're going to get the catch. And he's going to score, man. Wow. Third down. Willie Johnson, 47 yards, man. We got to learn how to tackle. All right, and you see us, man, getting ready to call our first offensive series. Hopefully, he's more successful than our first defensive series. All right, here we go, man. Play action. And we make the throw. Let's go, Baker. Let's go, man. Getting out of the pocket with a 65-speed quarterback. Oh, let's go. First down. Get out of bounds, man. Here we go. Bubble screen. Can we get some blocks? Not really, but we get the first. We are putting together a very solid drive, though. Let's see if we can keep this up. The audible to a run play. There we go. Let's go. Did we get the first down? We did. Can we squeeze that in there? Let's go. Baker, first down. Fellas, third and three. Get the first. It's not going to happen. Two yards short, man. What do we want to do here? We're going to just kick the field goal, get some type of points on our first ever drive. It's good. Seven to three. Oh, good call. What a QB read, man. Is he going to score? Is he going to score? Let's go, man. We bring him down, but what a read. We shifted a lot of our guys to the left side. And he's in there. Marshall gets on the board again, man. 14 to 3. Nice right, third down. Get it. Let's go. Let's go. Barber. Okay. Number 93. We're just making fun of him for wearing 93, but good catch there. Hopefully, it was a major player. What? Come on, bro. I don't know if we have the arm strength for this. Oh, oh! We almost made that catch, man. That would have been huge. But instead, we're looking at 30 19. And they have a wide open receiver again. We trip him up. We tripped him up. What a play. Gain of 38. All right, man. Here we go, defense. Third and four. Get these guys off, man. Here we go. Come up, make the tackle. Make the tackle. Let's go. Hold him to a field goal. No, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, let's go, Rice. Yo, is he going to take this to the crib? Let's go. What a way to score our first ever touchdown, man. To the crib. Wyoming State, we ain't playing no games. 
Oh, let's go. We have room to run. Let's go, Dockery. First down. Right, let's keep it with the quarterback. We get the first down. I was trying to slide, but hey, we'll take it. Let's go. First down, Barber. Let's go, man. Offense is clicking right now. All right. Second and goal. Tied in. Oh, he dropped it. Yo, man. That's what happens when you wear number 93 and don't have gloves, man. You drop passes. Third and goal. Third and goal. Get it out to the running back. Docker, he's in there. Touchdown. This game is all tied up. Here we go, man. 55 seconds for Marshall. And they're running with the quarterback. And they're going to get some. Oh, he fumbled the ball. Never mind. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. We're out at the 20-yard line. But we get an opportunity to get more points before halftime. Remember, we get the ball to start off the third quarter. What a strip right there. What a strip. Who was that? Carlson? Let's go. Second down. Let's go. Let's go, Marcus. Way to get a foot in bounds. All right, second to goal. He's there. Touchdown. Let's go, baby. Back in the lead. Oh, that back. This is our first lead. This is our first lead as a program. Now that I'm thinking about it, 24 to 17. Now, here we go, man. First play here in the third quarter. We're going to the ground. Do we have room? We're getting six. All right, can we get this first down? There we go. We got it and more. Let's go, Dockery, man. Down to what? About the 45? First down. Okay, Dockery. All right, man. Second and one. Going with the jet sweep. We get the first down. Let's go. Over street. Let's go, man. Team ran for over 100 yards now. All right, here we go. Third and eight. Pick this up somehow. Uh, oh, man. We almost threw a pick. I tried to squeeze that in there. We are fortunate it wasn't picked. And we'll go ahead and just kick a field goal. There we go. This kick is up. And it's good, man. We're up 10. Oh, look at this. Eastern Michigan trying to beat Penn State. Will it be able to pull it off? I don't know. Penn State's already 0-1. Not a good start. No. Oh, quarterback's going to keep it. They get seven. All right, third and six. And they're going to complete it, man, to Gaines. Came out of nowhere to make that grab, really. All right, man, third and 11. And we get beat. What a hit, man. But they are now down inside of the 30. It's a run. And they get the first and more. And touchdown, Marshall, man. All right, so they make this a three-point game again. Oh, Eastern Michigan is beating Penn State with a minute 40 left. Wow, man, what a major upset if they could pull this off. All right, man, Marshall has the opportunity to either tie or take the lead right now. We got a clamp up defensively. Quarterback is scrambling. Good tackle there. Good throw. He breaks another tackle. And they score again, man. Willie Johnson is having a great game. A great game, man. All right, so now we're down. There we go, man. We're now down. Let's see what we can do offensively. We get a block. Let's go, man. Dockery gain 15. And we throw a pick. Jackson jumps that one. Our first interception in program history, man, comes at a terrible time. All right, fourth and three. Extra point, man, or not extra point, field goal attempt is good. I was thinking it was going to be wide left for a second, man. Is this an update on the Penn State game? No, it's not. Syracuse, though. Syracuse in a tight one against Northwestern. Oh, Eastern Michigan defeated Penn State 16 to 14. What an upset, man. Penn State 0 and 2. They're clearly going to be out of the top 25. All right, third and 11, man. Can we pick this up? Can we pick this up? Quick throw. Let's go over street way to hold on to that one. All right, 
lot of pressure coming. We got it off. Let's go over street. Good catch. Let's go, man. Pressure came. We got rid of it just in time. We pick up 39. Down. There we go. Quick throw. Let's go, Barber. Let's get in the end zone. Let's get in the end zone. Oh, man. He's going to be tackled. I like the three, but we're down here, man. We have opportunity to tie this game up. Over street. I did not see him get hurt, but um, he will return soon. Hopefully, we get in the end zone here, though. Let's go, man. Dockery, he is in there. Extra point away from tying this game up. All right, fellas, here we go. Game all tied up. 523 left in the game. Let's see who's going to make a play. And Marshall, right over Willie Johnson, man. Same dude making a play. Here comes the no huddle, of course. All right, here we go, man. Let's see what they do here. It's going to be a throw. Quarterback's running. Tackle him to get four. Oh, what a tackle, man. What a catch from Millie Johnson also. Third and two now. You know the no huddle is coming. All right, man. What, what are we going to do here? Why not, man? We're, we're coming. Bringing the pressure. We're bringing some pressure. We're bringing some pressure, and they still get the first down. What a run. All right, man. Here we go. Third down. Another chance for us to get them off the field. There we go. Make the tackle. Oh, man. He breaks the tackle. We needed that one. All right, man. Second down. Second and seven. Another short throw, but another first down. In the red zone now. All right, it's third and four. Can we get a field goal attempt? It's a run. They hand it off, and they break the tackle. Man, we cannot catch a break. First and goal from the one. And second and goal now. Once again, trying to get this stop. And let's go. We got the tackle there. He almost broke both tackles, man. But we get the tackle there. Third and goal. Let's see what they do. Here we go. Third and goal. The quarterback keeps it in there in the end zone. Touchdown. Thundering herd, man. What a drive. What a drive. We have no choice but to try to answer back. All right, guys. Big drive here. Big drive. And let's go, man. Marcus getting the catch. First down. All right, we're going with the draw. Let's go. Let's go. We'll take him, man. Gain the six. It's pretty big. And it's going to be picked off, man. We threw it right at him. And then we missed the tackle. Wow, man. So we have all three timeouts, but we have to get a stop. All right, so second and one. We'll let this time run down a little bit. And they're going to keep it with the quarterback, and we just missed. And they might be in field goal range right there. There goes third down. Let's go. We got that stop. We used our last timeout. And now we, we need a missed field goal. All right, here we go. I don't know what the kicker could do. He only made a 43-yarder earlier. This one is way deeper, and this kick is going to be good. What a kick. What a kick right there, man. He just barely... Barely got it through, but now we're down 10 with 51. It's probably over. All right, so here we go. We need to score twice, but we need to score at least once. Then we'll worry about the onside kick later, man. Blitz is coming. We have him down the middle of the field. Let's go, Barber. Let's go, man. Let's go. We have to go no huddle. We have to get on the line. Come on, can you get off my guy? Thank you, man. Let's go. Um, what do we want to go with? All right. Everybody set. Let's roll. And is that caught? That's caught. Wow. Let's go. We'll just spike it here. Give everybody a little breather. We're moving down the field, though. Come on. Let's get set. There we go. 35 seconds left. And throw it too far, man. Third down. And let's go. It's caught. And we got out of bounds. Stopping the clock. 
this one going to be caught it is let's go let's go man we're down to the one we have to go no huddle here i don't know what play to run at this point though uh, maybe we go just sweep this is going to run the clock if we don't get it though and get in there let's go man touchdown we don't have to worry about that we we score now the important part is the onside kick all right man our first game is coming down to an onside kick all right let's see see what happens and they're going to get it and that is going to be the ball game ladies and gentlemen we could not pull it off all right guys so fortunately we could not get them win man 44 41 final score man 441 total yards of offense for us 453 for marshall i may turn down the the game time from seven minutes maybe to six minutes but other than that man we just could not get it done at the end of the day man we played good especially for us being this low overall we played well we just couldn't get it done man 128.8 quarterback rating from russell thurman 20 for 38 314 two touchdowns two interceptions he was sacked three times Alton Dockery did have 16 carries for 106 and a touchdown. He pretty much played good the entire game, man. Um, receiving, it was our tight end, Clayton Barber. I don't know if I'm saying it right or not, but six catches, 115 yards. Overstreet had four for 78. Marcus had four for 57. Sean Baker had three for 36. And then on the defensive side of the ball, nine total tackles from Jamar Gilmore, our free safety. Demarcus Hayward, our middle linebacker, did have seven, and he had three tackles for a loss, but it wasn't enough. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and end this episode here. In the next week, we're going to be taking on Miami of Ohio. They are one-on-one. -on -one. We're playing at 6 p.m., man. Another regionally broadcast the game, and we are actually projected, or predicted, to win this game. Even though we only have a D-minus grade, Kirk's seen us play against Marshall. He knows. We're a pretty solid team, man, even though our ratings do not show it. But I hope you guys did enjoy it, man. If you guys are excited for this series, please go ahead and leave this video a like, man. It helps me a lot. also shows that you guys are wanting more of these episodes, man. So definitely do that, man. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.